I look ladies, look, I mean, not ladies, guys, right? Look, um, women cannot respect this type of man. And it's very simple. A man with no boundaries. And the reason why is this. Women will see you as your dad. I mean, as her dad unconsciously, right? Women relate to their man unconsciously how they relate to their fathers, right? If their fathers had, if she had a father who was strict and very, you know, very strict, what she will become attracted to is a man that reflects her suppressed personality. In other words, who reflect her wild side because her wild side was suppressed by her parents, right? Because you naturally have natural instincts, right? And as you grow older, if your dad tells you, don't do this, don't do that, don't go out, don't, don't suck that dick, right? You'll naturally want to rebel, but you won't out of fear of the consequences, right? So these types of women then would then go out with guys that have the trait that she wants, but doesn't want to act out, but she'll act it out through being with him, right? She'll sort of gain, gain release of that desire through dating a bad boy, quote unquote, right? Especially if he, if he looks like a bad boy. So women naturally, because of our culture, a lot of them don't have boundaries. Now you might say, but bro, man, that girl didn't want to give me the pussy, man. She got boundaries. Nah, nigga, I'm not talking about that kind of girl. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying that women naturally in our culture struggle with sh having boundaries because they're taught to be deferential. They're taught to be polite. And they're taught to be pleasing, right? So they're taught to be more of the submissive kind, right? Um, naturally, though, when a woman, when you don't know a woman, she has her defenses up. In other words, you don't really see who she is. When she says no to you, you think she has, she's confident. You think that she has it all together. No, she just don't like you. She, you'll notice how insecure she is once she starts liking you. And then you'll notice that the mask will slip and you'll see how insecure she really is. So when she senses that you have no boundaries... You're pretty much who she is on the outside. She wants she wants you to be the person who she wants to be. You got to realize a lot of women don't have a lot of boundaries. Honest to God. They're shy about it. So when you have boundaries, you have things you will or will not accept. Not all women are going to like that. But a big portion of women will like that. Because they see, they will sense how repressed they are by sensing your boundaries. A lot of women resent the fact that they have to be a feminine and deferential. A lot of women have pent up masculine energy that they express in an unhealthy way through aggressiveness. They don't express their masculine energy through assertiveness. They express it through aggressiveness it's, or passivity, right? So what you got to do is have your boundaries. By you having strong, clear boundaries about things you will or will not accept, you will create a stronger attraction and more respect. If a woman respects you, she will submit to you. She, because she senses that you're a, you're a man of power. That means the way you talk to people, the way you talk to your parents, and the way you talk to her. She's going to judge you based on that. So that means that if you act confident around her, but when you're around other dudes... You, she notices the other dudes dodging you, playing, calling, like, you know, playing you and shit. She's going to lose respect for you. So what you got to do is not just learn how to gain a woman's respect, but learn how to get another man's respect. Learn how to get respect from other men. Learn how to get respect from people around you and learn to how to demand that kind of respect. And the way you do that is one, your demeanor. Right? Stop being that jokey ass dude. Stop laughing so goddamn much. Stop trying to talk to everybody. Stop, stop trying to make friends with everybody. Be somebody who's focused about their work. That's the first thing. Because again, just think about think about your job when you work. Who do you respect the most? The people who are focused on their job more. Hey, yo, Bill, come here. Let me let me get your take, Bill. Come on, Bill. Yeah, I'm working. Come on, Bill. Just come on. All right. All right. Yeah, Bill's gonna give us our take. Yeah. All right, Bill. Come on, man. Tell me what you think. You know what I'm talking about? You know that dude who barely talks and that's focused? And then once he talks, people listen. That's what I'm talking about. So that's one thing. Stop talking so much. I swear to God, guys, the whole talking a lot, I, you might think that the person who talks the most is the most respected. I, the person who talks the least and who, who works the most is the one that's most respected. The second thing 
is do not do not let people talk to you in a disrespectful way, especially around other people. Do not let like you gotta know what that looks like. So think back in your life. If somebody talked bad to you, if somebody disrespected you, you're not gonna talk to them no more. If somebody disrespected you, you're not gonna interact with them no more. If somebody called you a bitch at the basketball court, because you gotta understand is a lot of you guys come from um, um from single mothers' homes, right? And a lot of you guys were taught to be nice and polite and deferential. You know, be that nice boy, be that guy who who if somebody slap if somebody slaps one cheek, you give them the other cheek. You know, you you're taught not to do cheek um tooth for tooth. You're always taught to be the better man. And if somebody's a dick to you, Forgive them and and teach them how to and teach them how to be a good person through being nice to them. Fuck that shit. I'm not saying for you to be a dickhead. I'm saying that if somebody disrespect you, you're not gonna talk to them no more, or you're gonna you're gonna completely reduce how much you talk to them. Simple as that. You're gonna completely reduce how much you talk to them. You're gonna completely reduce how much you interact with them. If you do that, I can promise you, you're gonna they're gonna they're gonna start respecting you because what's gonna happen is this. They're either going to leave you or they're going to respect you more, right? That's the first thing with guys. When you begin to stand up for yourself, your social circle might, might get smaller. Some people might not want to talk to you no more. You may not have a lot of friends anymore, and that's okay because you don't want those kind of toxic relationships, right? And so when it comes to women, if you just apply that to every area of your life, when it comes down to women, you're going to sense that you, you're going to have that ability to also stand up for yourself, right? Because again, sometimes you want to do it in small areas, in small places with your friends and, and, and learning how to say no here and there, learning how to say no. If, some, if one of your family members is asking you for money and you have the money, but you're trying to save up for something, you say no because you put yourself first. Some people will, some people will test you by, by trying to get more from you. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to women, if she's going to be late, you got, you got to put her in her place. If she talks to you in a disrespectful way, you got to pull away. If, if you're noticing that she all of a sudden, uh, how can I say, if she's changing up and just talking to you in a, in a disrespectful way, that demands that you, fin that you pull away. Not be mean, not be bar her, but you just pull away. If she's talking to you continually in a in disrespectful way in front of your friends or even cheating on you, you got to break that off. That means that when you do this, you're gonna leave some people, but the ones that stay will respect you. The ones that stay will be of higher quality, will be less frustrating. And that's how it is. The difference between guys who, who have women who, who are submissive to them, it's just that those guys demand more respect. Not in an aggressive way, but in an assertive way. They demand more respect. You got to respect yourself more, man. You can't be giving your attention too soon. You can't, you, you can't be showing your emotions too soon. You can't be giving people full of the fullest respect too soon. You have a baseline level of respect and let people earn the rest. That means I, I'll talk to you, but I won't be giving you too many goddamn smiles. I'll talk to you, but I won't be completely giving you my complete 100% utter attention. I respect you. But I will always put myself first. And that should be the mentality. It should be a selfish thing. A selfish mentality. You know? And do not apologize for that. Because sometimes that's what's required. It is what it is, man. And if you apologize for that, that means you were raised to be passive. That means you need to work on that. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Alright? Okay. All right, guys. Look, man, I talk a lot about this in my course, Dark Game. So I would check it out if you're interested in this kind of topic, okay? Uh, peace out, guys. All right, guys. So I want you guys to check out my online course called Dark Game. That's right, people. Dark Game. And this course is pretty much, I review to you the secret tactics, the secret techniques to create attraction in almost any woman, right? But not just attraction. Attraction to the point that makes her want to see you all the time where she's the one initiating all the contact, right? Now, now just imagine to be able to keep all of the girls in your life that that you lost because of you because of your stupidity. Imagine and I had stupidity too. Imagine being able to keep them. Imagine being able to have five, six women available to you wanting to see you. 
Imagine being able to create intense relationships where they're all doing all the work. People, that kind of stuff does exist, people. Now, I'm not going to promise you to, that you're going to bang like 40, 50 women. I'm going to promise you that you're going to be able to keep the women you have, that you, you, that you get with. I can promise you that, that they keep on the will increase with this course. But let me keep showing you something. This course is pretty huge, people. It's a huge course. This course has over 50 videos, 50 videos, right? And some of them you could get for free. If you, if you just sign up, you, you get free videos, right? But in, in these videos, let me show you guys the, the, the course, right? All right, oh, guys. Shit. <laughs> That's me right there, right? In this video, I pretty much teach you guys how to find your purpose right all this is how to find your purpose discovering your purpose right i teach you guys then about female psychology all of the principles about female psychology you guys need to understand i then teach you guys the mindset the 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 the, the proper mindset that you need that you guys need to deal with women after that i teach you guys 21 videos on out of game i mean pretty this is just it's pretty much unbelievable man i, I gotta <laughs> make this available right but it's unbelievable how many i pretty much put everything out of game social circuit game strategies threesomes foursomes everything right and on top of that i give you guys a a, um, a few bonuses how to overcome approach anxiety why you can't take actions a dickens pattern to change your mentality how to go from open to transitions right 81 minute long people this is like i don't know how long this is but this is hours hours and i mean hours worth of content and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. I mean, you, you without questions asked. All for $99, people. People, this is originally, this could be, this could be around a few thousands to be honest with you right but you guys get it for $99, right? All you gotta do is just go over here, purchase the course, you know, and you'll get access to it. And if you don't like it, you could just message me and get and get your money back, people. Look, man, this is, don't be hard headed, people. Don't be hard headed. If you, this is the course that you guys need, right? It gives you guys everything. I cover everything. I could promise you, man, this is, you're not gonna get a more in-depth course on how to attract women and keep them more than this, all right? Anyways, people, check it out. 30 days, my money back guarantee, there is no risk. And you can get the free course. You can get the free trial. The free trial of these videos that you get for free, right? You guys could just sign up. You could watch all of these videos for free, right? And there's no, and you don't have to pay, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys inside. I run, I want to see you guys inside because again, people, this, you, you can't lose nothing. There's a 30-day money back.